Hello everybody, Roger back with another uh, video, this time in support of Chris Pro, uh, Musically Obsessed channel. Uh, he hit uh, 200 subs and is doing a contest, let me, yeah, 200 subs con and doing a contest for it and has a few questions. He's got a great channel. If you haven't seen his channel yet, go check him out. I'll put a link in the description below for it. But he has a great channel. Go check that out. Uh, you'll you'll thoroughly enjoy his channel. Uh, but he asked five questions. The first one is our first musical memory. My first musical memory is sitting in the floor, probably. Oh man, first grade, something like that maybe. Second grade. Uh, and my dad had a can of 45s and I used to sit there and just flip through those 45s and listen to those things over and over and over and he taught me from an early age you know how to handle them don't try not to put your fingers on the uh, lines and everything on the grooves and keep the oils off and keep them clean and dust them and everything and, so I, I don't even remember him telling me that really, but I just remember always knowing it and I know it's because he told me. But it's sitting in the floor, listening to his 45s, uh, which were uh, Buddy Holly, uh, uh, the Everly Brothers, Ricky Nelson, uh, Bo Diddley, uh, some uh, Marty Robbins, uh, just, uh, and I know I've left a bunch out, uh, but, Anyway, he that's that's my first musical memory. Listening to his 45s and music has been in my life, my entire life, because of him. He's always been putting stuff in there, in the music, in the car, at home, you know, wherever we were at, he was always playing music. And so I really had music in my life all the time. So that's my first musical memory. Uh, Chris's second question, let me turn it down just a little. His second, what song or artist would you do karaoke? And I'll pick two of them because I've done them before. Uh, one, of course, Bad Company's album, Bad Company. Then, of course, the song, Bad Company. Love that song. Great song. So I, I'd do that one. Also, Sticks off the Grand Illusion. Uh, there it is. Come Sail Away. I've done both of those before doing karaoke. So, uh, third question. Three Desert Island albums. Uh, probably going to shock you guys on this because I'm going to go off the wall. And of course, we're on an island, right? So on that island, we have to have some surf music, right? So Jan and Dean. Love Jan and Dean. Remember them from the er my, I'm talking about earliest memories. This was one of my earliest memories is of Jan and Dean. Uh, listening to their music because of my older brother and and the Beach Boys and stuff. But So I would take this one, Dead Man Curve. The second one, it's what we was hearing in the background. If you can still hear it, I may have turned it down too low. This would be another surprise. We're on the islands, right? So we've got to have some Martin Denny Exotica. Volume two. Uh, yeah, he he just got some some of that music that just kind of takes you away. That's another memory of mine. One of the forty fives my dad had was Martin Denny's. Uh, oh my goodness, it was a Martin Denny record, Quiet Village, Quiet Village. And so I I remember growing up to the forty, listening to that forty five a lot. And then later I found that album at an estate sale and picked it up and have it also. 
And then for a change of pace on this island, let's go to the doors. We're gonna have to have some upbeat music, some weird music, and depending on how late in this island experience goes, if I'm lost on this island and no one knows I'm there, at some point I may want to leave this last song, the end. So, the doors. Uh, number four, an album artwork you could stare at for hours. And this one immediately popped in my mind. Uh, Led Zeppelin 3, there is just so much happening on this cover. Then especially take into the effect of the wheel and all the different variations you can have with it. Checking things out on the different holes throughout the, the spin there, different things. I mean, you could play with that thing and stare for a long time at all kinds of things. So, yeah, I'll go with this one. Led Zeppelin 3. Uh, best closing track off of an album. I don't know how you can go wrong with any of this artist's closing tracks. So, I'm just going to pick the first one I grab. Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? With the song, Are You Experienced? So, Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? That would be the best closing track. So, that's the fifth, yeah, fifth question. So, if you're not familiar with Chris's channel, check it out. I've not been involved with his channel for just an extremely long time, but Check it out. I think you'll like it. Uh, Chris, congratulations on hitting the 200 milestone. And we'll see you next time. Keep them spinning.